Let's start a new project in Scratch to create a helicopter game. We'll first focus on the interface. Let's replace the cat with a helicopter, which we can choose from the sprite library or draw ourselves. We'll create two costumes, which differ in the positioning of the helicopter. If you wish, you can change the helicopter size like this. We'll now draw different sky backgrounds with different cloud configurations. In each backdrop, we'll put different clouds, which we can represent with grey ovals, or on a light blue background. To do this, we'll click on the Paint New Backdrop icon and we'll draw the different sky backgrounds in the same way we drew the different face effects earlier in this unit. Good. Now let's implement the behaviour of the helicopter following our code design. We'll first tackle the helicopter movement by consulting our pseudocode. For instance, when the right arrow key is pressed, the helicopter should point in direction 90, which in Scratch means to the right, then switch to the next costume, and finally move 10 steps. we can implement the rest of the helicopter's movement following the same process. Now let's test our code so far. To ensure that the orientation of the helicopter does not change, but it's always kept horizontally, let's mark the middle option for its rotation style. Now that we're done with coding the helicopter movement, let's implement the program part for touching the clouds. Remember our algorithm for this. So we'll introduce the green flag a forever block and an if-then block. The condition of touching a cloud can be expressed as whether it is touching the same colour as that of a cloud. To do this, we'll introduce a touching colour block from Sensing We'll then click on the coloured area of this block and then move our cursor over the colour that we want and click to set the colour. When the helicopter touches the cloud's colour, we want it to say ouch, so we'll use a say block and put it inside the then part of our block. Great! 
Now, let's tackle the third part of our program. Here's our algorithm for this, specifying that if the helicopter reaches the edge, the stage switches to the next backdrop. So we'll introduce another if-then block and put it inside our forever block. We'll set its condition to touching edge. For the effect, we'll use the block switch backdrop to with the option next backdrop. We're now done with the implementation of the game as designed earlier. Another good idea is to reposition the helicopter in the center of the new backdrop like this. This way, we'll avoid any unforeseen clouds at the edge of the next backdrop. Note, however, that here we're making the assumption that there are no clouds in the center of each backdrop. Note that this may have not been captured in the game requirements, but it is useful to include it so as to keep the game simple for Callum. You may find that when implementing your program, new ideas pop up. Programming is a highly creative process, so feel free to incorporate any new ideas that are in line with the user requirements. In the case of ideas that are a little bit more complex to program, just write them down on paper and tackle them once you're done with the first working version of your program. So we now have a game, let's try it out! Excellent! As a challenge, we invite you to design and implement a simple program for the game Flappy Bird. To do this, you can reuse some of the ideas from the helicopter game, and you can replace the helicopter with a bird, and the clouds with some pipes. Have a go! And most importantly, have fun!